Okay, for this tutorial, we're going to be using 3 8 inch grow green ribbon. I'm going to be using some tool. You're going to need thread and a needle, your lighter, and your scissors, of course. Okay, for our actual pom-pom puff, we are going to be cutting our ribbon, whichever print you want to use. I'm going to be using the strawberry print. And I'm going to cut about 30 to 35 2 inch strips. Like that. Okay, now that we have our two inch strips cut, all 30 to 35, we're going to need to heat seal each end. Very important step. So go ahead and do the rest. After you finish heat sealing your strips, we're going to fold them up into loops. And to do that, you just take it and fold it in half, like so. You're going to do all strips like this. Now, to secure the ends, you have two options. You can put a stitch right here in the top, or you can put a dab of glue. So however you want to do that, they just need to be loops secured. So go ahead and do all strips like that. Alrighty then, once we have our loops, loopy loop loop loops, we are going to thread a needle. Yep, there's a little bit of sewing involved, people. So go ahead and thread your needle. I'm using a long needle. Uh, let's see, how long is this needle? It is about three inches. Big long needle. Okay, now we are going to string our loops on this thread with this needle. All you have to do is insert your needle in the top. Sorry, my focus is out. In the top of your loop, the part where you secured it with either your thread or your glue. See right up here. So go ahead and do that now. See how I've strung these three? We need to do all 30 to 35. And here's a little trick I do to make sure my first loops do not go over my knot because sometimes they will slip out here at the end. I'll just secure them with the clothespin until I'm done. Okay, and here's what it looks like once we have strung all of our loops onto our thread. Now we're going to cinch them together or gather them just like you would if you were making like a ribbon rose. Okay, and to do that we're going to grab our two ends which is the needle and the end thread. I'm going to kind of put them in a circle and then just start gathering them together by pulling one end of your thread. And once you cinch them up, we'll start forming your, your loops, your circle, and you can kind of fluff them out. See how it forms a little pom-pom? So once again, you just take one end of the string. I'll show you with this side. And just go up and gather. Here we go again. We're going to go up 
and you're going to need to pull it tight. And then you can form your little pom pom, however you want it. Your puff is in the shape that you want it to be in. I'm going to make mine in like an oblong shape. Um, you're going to need to turn it over and find your two end pieces, meaning the piece that was on the needle and then the piece that was on the end thread. And you're going to need to put them side by side like I have mine on the bottom and thread them one into the other. And this part is not going to be seen. It's just going to secure your bow. It's my finished puff. And of course you can shape yours however you like. But it's really puffy and full. Now we're ready to move on to the other part. I have changed my mind. <laughs> I decided to go with a rounder puff and that's the great thing about this tutorial if you don't like how it looks just pull on your string your thread and make it tighter and it's going to come out a little more round and then of course you can go around and if your loops happen to get flat just press down and puff them back up Okay, and once you have it glued to your piece of felt, we're just going to put this aside and we're going to work on our next two pieces. Next part of this hair bow, I'm going to be making a surround bow. And I use two 12 inch pieces of 3 8 inch grow grain ribbon and I'm using an apple green color. And we're just going to glue the pieces on top of each other. And if you need the surround bow tutorial, I will include a link down below. So go ahead and glue these two pieces together. Okay, and for the third layer of this hair bow, I'm going to be working with some light pink tulle. And again, I use the kind that comes on the roll for my hair bows. It is uh, 6 inches wide and you get 25 yards. And what I have cut mine into is I cut three 4 inch pieces. See, 1, 2, 3. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm just going, going to bunch them all up, cinch them together, just like this, and we're going to put one on top of the other. Like so. And this is going to be our tool piece. And of course, you can make sure your ends are straight and you can clip them if one's longer than the other. And then just secure it in the middle with your thread or your elastic. Okay, and now that we've got all three pieces complete, we are just going to assemble them. I'm going to start with my tool piece that's going to be on the very bottom. I'm going to add my surround bow, and then on top is going to be my ribbon pom pom. So what you want to do is take your tool, add a dab of glue in the middle, add your surround bow, and then for extra stability, you're going to stitch and then go around with your thread just so they're more secure. And then on the very top is going to be our ribbon pom-pom. And then we're going to add it to the clip. Guys, here's our completed bow. All three layers. Of course, you can fan everything out puff it up however you want it and uh, put it on your clip and you've got a different looking bow. Of course you can switch up the uh, pink tool for red or green or a darker pink. Just switch up the colors and make it however you want it.